Hi there. We are at the start of Unit 3 of our adventures with electric circuits. Um, and what I want to start off with right now is making some comparisons between two different types of light bulbs. Um, so far, uh, the ones in my right hand, uh, what we call round bulbs, are the only ones we've worked with at all. Um, in my left hand are what I would call a long bulb, uh, and these you have not yet seen in action at all. But we're going to explore some differences between round bulbs and long bulbs. And if you can see the glass on the two bulbs, then you can see why we call these ones round bulbs and these ones long bulbs. Um, just from the shape of the glass, there's nothing special about those names. Um, and there are some differences between these, and we'll see those uh, coming up. Now, uh, in order for you to be able to see more clearly which is which, um, I have, wherever I've got a circuit with round bulbs, I've got red wires, and you'll see black wires when I make a circuit with long bulbs. So you'll be able to tell more clearly that way. So here, I'm about to build, I'm about to finish a circuit that we've seen before, two round bulbs, uh, in what's going to be a charging circuit with this battery uh, and that capacitor. And we've seen before what will happen to these bulbs is we expect that they will briefly glow and then go out as the capacitor charges. And that happens. And if I want to make a discharging circuit, I can just disconnect these from the battery and discharge and the bulbs glow briefly. The time that the bulbs glow for the charging circuit, for the discharging circuit, seem to be about the same. Um, but what if we do this same circuit instead with the long bulbs? So I'm just going to rebuild the same circuit, two bulbs with and I'm just going to make sure that this is discharged all the way. Uh, back in unit two, whenever we were resetting the capacitor, what we were really doing was just making sure that it was all the way discharged. So now I've got my two long bulbs in the same circuit as I had the round bulbs before. And let's watch and see if we can spot any differences. Here we go. Oh, the bulbs just now went out. Uh, something that I very definitely noticed was that it took longer for the bulbs to uh, stop glowing. They were lit for a longer amount of time. That's interesting. I wonder what will happen when I discharge. So now I'm just going to set up my discharging circuit, discharging the capacitor through the long bulbs. Again, they took a lot longer to go out than they did uh, when I had the round bulb circuit. So what could this mean for what happens with the capacitor? If the bulbs are lit longer, well, we expect from our previous work that when the bulbs are glowing is when the charges are flowing. Sorry, I didn't mean to rhyme there. Um, but when the, when the bulbs are lit is when we have charges moving. And with the long bulbs, they were lit longer means we must have had a longer time for charges to flow onto this capacitor. So there are a couple possibilities here for what this might mean. Uh, it could mean that when I set up my circuit with the long bulbs, since there's more time for charges to flow, then maybe that means that the capacitor becomes more charged. Or alternately, if the charges are not flowing at the same rate. Maybe the charges, there's just as much charge flowing, but more gradually. 
And if that's the case, then maybe it's not a difference in amount of charge. But you know what I could try doing if I want to investigate possible answers for that? I'm going to set up this charging circuit again. But after I charge through these long bulbs, I'm going to discharge the capacitor through the round bulbs, and we'll see what that looks like. So charging through the long. Now something, you know, I'm going to do that again because a mistake that I made there, I didn't get a quality connection right away. And when I don't make a quality connection right away, then, uh, then I interrupt that flow. And that makes it hard to make the careful comparison I want to make. Something else that I'm doing is I want to wait a few seconds after the bulbs stop glowing because I just want to make sure that the charge is all the way done moving in the circuit. So I'm going to try again and hopefully do it better. Charging. And now the bulbs are out, but I just want to wait a moment. And now I'm going to do a discharge through the round bulbs. So this capacitor is charged. I think I'll leave these here. The capacitor is charged. And I'm going to discharge now through round bulbs. Sorry, there are a lot of wires here, um, is one reason why I'm separating these by color. So I'll discharge when I just connect these two. And if we watch this discharge, hmm, they did not take the same length of time as the long bulbs took. Uh, I don't know about you, but to me it looked pretty much the same as anytime I've discharged through round bulbs. That's really interesting. You know, I'm going to try, what if we charge through round bulbs and then discharge through long bulbs? I wonder what that'll look like. And I've given that enough time. So I'm going to set up a charging circuit. Here we go. And the bulbs glow just briefly, like always. And now I'm going to set up my discharging circuit through long bulbs. So I've got my two long bulbs here, and I'm going to discharge. Wow. So what I'm seeing is that the charging or discharging time for the long bulbs was the same whether I had charged or maybe rephrasing that. Discharging through long bulbs looks the same whether I charged through long bulbs or whether I charged through round bulbs. And discharging through round bulbs looks the same whether I charged through long bulbs or whether I charged through round bulbs. And that is really fascinating. Uh, hmm. There's a lot to digest here. I wonder what it could mean. Um, let's think about that a bit. I'll see you soon. Bye.